Hello, Mr. Minnick helping students use color in a Python ASCII art program. Here we have a very simple program in Python that we started with the Python, plain Python type of project at the website Replit. I did not use Python with Turtle. This demo would not work at Python with Turtle. It only works at plain Python. If you already have code in a Python with Turtle project, copy and paste it and put it into a new replit uh, that you start with plain Python. So here in this case, when I run this sample, um, that's those are the letters H-E. Uh, let's just pretend those are my initials or maybe the first two letters of hello world. Either way, it's a sort of a block H and a block E. But notice that the print command is being used. That's how we do ASCII art, we use the print command. To change the color away from white, you could use these numbers right here that you'll see uh, uh, on, on the, the section of my program. Red is 31, for example, blue is 34, uh, white is 37, but the default is white, so that doesn't really uh, uh, look interesting. So to use these color numbers, here's how you do it. Anywhere that you want to change the color to every for everything to the right of that spot, you click your cursor inside the double quotes. That is crucial. It's got to be clicked inside the double quotes. And there's this special code that you could Google and find or look el up elsewhere in my website or my notes, but you type backslash 33, left square bracket, and then 34. For, okay, that's blue. I just chose the number blue. Then the letter N. So when we run this, you will not see the M, for example, or the 33 or the 34 print out. Instead, this code that I just typed in, that, that part right there, is a command telling the computer in a behind the scenes way that everything to the right of the M is now going to be the color 34, which the computer knows as blue. Even the remaining print statements, it'll still be blue. Let's check it out. I run the program and now everything's blue. Uh, and maybe that's all you need. So uh, thank you for enjoying this video at this point, if that's all you needed. However, maybe you wanna change uh, to a second color. Well, the part that's important here is the backslash 33, left square bracket, some number in the 30s, and then the M. That part right there, again, I'm going to copy it, that chunk, and I'm gonna paste it, uh, perhaps in front of that E. So I click my cursor right there, and everything then to the right of that spot will be a different color if I paste in Command V to paste the code. When I run that project, that version, everything's still in blue because I really just put blue on top of blue. But if this number 34 is changed, to any one of the numbers down here that's not 34, like say 33, then everything to the right of that will be yellow. It actually shows up as orange, but I heard one time it's yellow, although some screens or monitors treat it as orange. Now don't confuse this backslash 33 with these numbers here. That's just a coincidence. Uh, some people on the internet put zeros in front of those 33 kind of like somebody's age might be 016, which is the same as 16. So those zeros don't hurt or help. And uh, I just messed it up by putting those zeros there. So definitely don't add the zeros like I just did. Uh, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but usually you can put the zeros there. Okay, one zero. I meant to say one zero could have been put there. Sometimes in the internet you'll see one zero and it followed by two threes but we don't really need that zero. Um, I'll leave it there in this current example. Some people, they on the internet, they post it as 
backslash 001B, two zeros and a 1B, that also works. I don't want to explain, okay, it doesn't work in this case. I'll just put 10B there. And uh, so forget I said that, but if you ever see the 1B trick, um, that's just the hexadecimal number instead of the uh, octal number, which means nothing to uh, people in the class that I'm currently teaching. So I'm putting it back to the simplest I can, just plain slash 33. So now we have it, uh, we have orange here, but let's say that you want this HH to be blue again, so that the complete letter H is blue. So you would carefully do the same thing that you did here to make the, those H's blue. You would copy and paste it and put that code right in front of the H and so on. All these H's on the left, you would put the blue, like dipping your uh, paintbrush into blue paint. But before you print this window, you might want to dip into the white paint, the yellow paint or orange paint. So I'm copying and pasting the 33 part, I'm pasting it there, 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 and there. Now when I run this, I get a blue H and a yellow, okay, I totally pasted wrong. So I'm, I'm gonna do Command Z to undo. I forgot to paste the M. I missed the letter M up here. So by highlighting correctly, then doing a rapid fire paste, 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 and running it, I now have the two different colored letters. Um, good luck using these color codes to the left of whatever text you wanna change the foreground text color in.